the Black River, it's not like other rivers. It has a, a whole personality of its own. You just feel like you're in an ancient place. When I paddle this river, I often wonder, what have these trees seen? These trees have been here so long. It's something that you don't experience anywhere else. You don't get near something that old or that something that's been that significant in, in your whole life. And when you come in here, you get that timeline and you feel it. We're here in what is really one of the greatest natural areas left in Eastern North America, Black River, North Carolina. We're in the heart of the Three Sisters area, which is a vast area of ancient bald cypress trees, many over a thousand years old and some over 2000 years old that were alive during the time of Christ and even older. And we studied bald cypress, Taxodium disticum, the Southern Swamp Cypress throughout its native range in Latin America and the United States. This is the best stand we've ever found. We don't harm the trees. We take a small core sample from bark to pith, that is from the outside towards the center of the tree. And it brings out a pencil sized core sample that can be mounted and finely polished. And under the microscope, we study the annual growth rings with dendrochronology, the most accurate and precise dating method in geochronology. And we take hundreds of these cores from hundreds of trees at a given location. And then we cross synchronize the patterns of wide and narrow rings going back into prehistory. It's possible to do that because climate modulates tree growth. So in wet years, the trees grow well. In drought years, they grow poorly, even in these frequently flooded cypress swamps. If we're going to go to here, we, we should put in a plus flood. Yeah. In the late 80s, early 90s, when the Nature Conservancy began the acquisition of their Black River Preserve here in southeastern North Carolina. I thought the problem was solved, but I had the opportunity to return to Black River in 2011 to areas I had never seen before. When's the last time you went to your favorite old growth forest and found out that it was 10 times larger than you had previously realized? It's a blessing and a curse because Wow, it's way bigger than we realize, and it's not all conserved. We're trying to help raise awareness, and we've established this ancient bald cypress consortium for research, education, and conservation. Well, honestly, I think it's right around 2,000 years old, based on its massive base, all these burls growing on it its external weathering features, you know, the fact that its canopy has been blown out long ago by some succession of land falling hurricanes, really remarkable. It's certainly, certainly a valuable tree. Last year, we sampled extensively in the Three Sisters area, and we found two trees dendrochronologically dated at more than 2,000 years old. The first one has an inner ring date of 70 BC, and the second one has an inner ring date of 605 BC, making that individual at least 2,624 years old, which is by far the oldest living tree ever found in Eastern North America. For sure, it's one of the oldest living trees on Earth. It's a remarkable discovery. It's also a wonder that an organism can live this long. And when you add to that wonder the fact that the annual rings record the history of the environment, it's a tremendous paleoclimate record. The natural world has been vastly reduced, and there's only a little left. 
We need places like this. We need to be able to get out into nature. It does us more good than you can imagine. The Nature Conservancy has been able to preserve some of these outstanding old growth forests and these opportunities still exist. We really still have the chance to make a serious difference in the preservation of the natural world.